Welcome to the Clash of Titans. Today we will be comparing the Huion. Actually, both of these are Huions. This is Huion HS64 and this is Huion H640P. Which one should you buy? Let's do this. So before starting the video, I must tell you that I have reviewed both of these tablets separately on my channel. And if you haven't seen those videos, you should go and see those videos first. All right, so this is uh, the H640P and this is HS64. Both of these tablets are very similar, not in terms of their size, but in terms of their functionality and uh, their price as well. The working area is a little different on these two. You might think that the working area on H640P is larger than the HS64, but it is not. The working area, you can see these four spots you can draw in between these four spots so the working area on h640p is 6.3 by 3.9 inches whereas the working area on hs64 is 6.3 by 4 inches 0.1 inch bigger surprisingly because the hs64 looks way smaller than h640p but it actually has a bigger working area thickness these are pretty neat and pretty sleek uh, drawing tablets and if i go by the measurements these are completely identical eight millimeter thick if i talk about the drawing pen the digital pen you can't tell the difference because these are exactly same pw100 is the huion digital pen included in both the boxes with the hs64 you don't get any kind of pen stand but with the H640P, you get a pen stand which holds like this and it also has some extra nibs inside it. You can connect both of these tablets through micro USB only. There is no C type cable supported yet. So you can use only micro USB wire to connect these tablets to your computer, your desktop, your laptop or your Android phone. That's right. Both of these tablets support Android functionality. You can connect these tablets, both of them, to your Android phone and you can start drawing. And if you want to know how to connect these tablets to your Android phone, like I told you, I have some previous videos. You can go and watch those videos if you want to learn how to connect and draw on your Android phone. OTG is a small connector which lets you connect these tablets to your Android phone. So both of these tablets get OTG connector inside the box. If you can notice, there are some keys on these tablets. These are called shortcut keys or hot express keys. Uh, there are six keys, but there are only four keys on the HS64. I think it's just a design implement to make the tablet smaller and more uh, pocket friendly or should I say bag friendly. Uh, but I still recommend the six keys because these are like on the left side of the tablet and they do not disturb you while drawing. But on H s64 these are on the top so uh, these could be like a small hindrance while drawing i don't know i don't find the keys on hs64 much friendlier these are small and uh, i don't know i don't really use these keys by the way you get the function key lock button on the side So uh, this small key function actually locks all these six keys so that you don't press them accidentally and ruin your artwork. And like I said, you don't get any kind of that function in. If you buy the special edition of HS64, you get these small, tiny, cute stickers inside the box. So that's it for the showdown and uh, there might be a question in your mind which one should you buy. I would say uh, the newer HS64 and the only reason is because this is newer, this is smaller and both of these tablets you know I like them so much I can't give these away to anyone because you know 
when you have nothing in your hand like no laptop no ipad no computer nothing you can use these tablets to do something on your mobile phone on your android phone these are cute these are small these are like invisible things inside your bag so if you are new to digital art and illustration if you want to enter the world of digital art and you know photoshop and illustrator and everything uh, these ones should be your first pick not necessarily but if you are on a budget these won't hurt you at all so that's it for today i hope you like the video and if you have hit the like button subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and also the comment section is open for you if you think i could do some more videos on you know with these tablets and if you want to ask me something about these tablets or anything basically related to art and digital art and painting and graffiti and animation and a lot of stuff i'll see you next time bye bye